Think back to the lessons I made on how to add and subtract integers. Remember what an integer was? First of all, integers were positive and negative numbers that did not have a decimal. Okay, if it had a decimal, it's not, a, it's not an integer anymore. Think back to those lessons. We're going to be carrying over those same ideas with some tweaks into this lesson, which is on adding positive and negative decimal values. They're still going to be positive and negative numbers, but they will have decimals. So all the strategies you learned, I think maybe grade four or grade five, where you had to stack the decimals and add the numbers and, and all that stuff, it's going to carry over to this. So you might have to refresh those. I will do a quick refresher as we go along. I will mention this is one of those lessons that you'll probably have to watch a few times and you will probably have to take notes as well. In fact, I recommend you take notes. Don't be watching this without taking notes. You'll have to practice the questions I practice over and over again until you master it. And even then, you might have to come back and watch it again in the future just to refresh your memory. So let's get started. How do you add these positive negative decimal values? Well, you'll have to understand three things before you do so. Okay, I'm going to go over it one by one. Here's the first thing. Scene one, Apple, take one. If the numbers have the same sign, you add those numbers together. No questions asked, you just add them. So what, what could that mean? Well, we could have a negative number added to another negative number. Those numbers have the same sign. If those numbers are both negative, you add them. You add those numbers. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Or you could have a situation where you have a positive number added to another positive number, in which case you will have to add those numbers together. Here's how I like to remember it. Imagine negative numbers being bad guys. So the negative numbers represent bad guys. Two bad guys hanging out with each other like this over here. Yeah, they get along. They're happy together, just like happy cat. And addition is symbolized by, ha or happiness is symbolized by addition. Or is it addition symbolized by happiness? Okay, great. So we have now what? We have two good guys here. Good guy added to another good guy. They hang out. They're also getting along very well and they're both happy adding together. Meow. That's number one. You have to understand that. After you understand this, we'll move on to the second step. Scene one, Apple, take two. I know what some of you are thinking. Wait a minute, Mr. Melham. You said we're adding today. We're not. Well, what's up with the subtraction? You, you didn't mention anything about subtraction. Well, you know what? Once you introduce positive and negative values, that whole idea of adding and subtracting, the way you learned it back in early elementary, out the window. Okay, so we will have to be doing some subtraction as we add. I will make this very clear later um, in the next page. So what does this mean? Well, it means that if you have a negative number and you add it, because it is addition, we're doing adding, to a positive number, you will have to subtract. Or if you have a positive number added to a negative number, you will also have to subtract those numbers. I will show you what that looks like. The only addition that we are doing is, well, the only time we see addition involved is that sign in the middle. That has to be addition for this to take place. So you have to look and say, look, that's addition, that's addition, that and that. They're all addition. We don't care about these other ones here. Just as long as that's addition, then we can use these two rules that I just mentioned. The last thing you have to understand Oh, before we move on, how do you remember this? This is what I do. Bad guy hanging out with a good guy. They don't get along. This is what happens. <laughs> None of them are happy. Or if you have a good guy hanging out with a bad guy, it's the same thing. <laughs> remember, positive is good guy. Negative is bad guy. So we have these scenarios here. Now, the last thing you have to understand is this. You look at those two numbers, and whichever number is bigger, ignore the signs, just look at the numbers. Whichever number is bigger, the sign beside that number will move on to the answer. Let's do some practice. Here we have positive 8.2 plus 3.33. They're both positives. So since they are both positives, positive with positive, we're going to be adding. Signs are the same. We're going to be taking 8.2. And this is going to be 3.33. Line up the decimals. We're going to be, oh, okay, that's a zero. We're going to be adding them. So we're going to add 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 8 plus 3 is 11. Decimal goes right here. Line up. Make sure decimals are stacked on top of each other. The answer is going to be what? Positive or negative? Okay, look. Remember, the bigger, ignore the signs. Just look at the numbers. 8 versus 3. 
What's bigger? Eight. Look at the sign. Positive. That moves on to the answer. It's a positive 11.53. Since they're both positive, it wouldn't even have made a difference regardless. Why does, now look, why is this the case? How about if we estimate? If that's positive 8.2, that just means it's about 8. And 3.33 is about 3. So we have positive 3. This is positive 8. If we have 8 positives, you know what that means? Well, meet Mr. Frog. Enough, frog. We start here at positive 8. And then we add three more positives. We're making more positives, right? So we're going to be bouncing over more positive. We're going to be around positive 11, which is what our answer says over here. Let's move on to question 2. We have negative 2.67 plus that number here. All I care about is that the signs are the same. So I have to add. But wait a minute, Mr. Mel, they're both negative. It doesn't matter. Look, they're the same sign. We just add. Now, we write 2.67, negative 2.67, no, just 2.67, ignore the signs after that. The signs help us decide if we're adding or subtracting. Put that added sign there, ignore them after that. Just write 2.67, 9.45, we won't need those signs until the very last step. 7 and 5 is 12, this makes 11, this makes 12. Now we look at the number, the bigger number, ignoring the signs again. We don't need them. We're just looking at the two versus nine. Who wins? Nine wins. Look at the sign. Negative. So we stick it right in front. They're both negatives. It wouldn't even have made a difference. But that's the way you would do it. Now let's move over to this one here. We have a negative and a positive number, and they're being added. That has to be addition. If it's not addition, you can't use any of these strategies. So let's add, let's, uh, what do we do here? They're, they're different. So what happens? Bad guy with a good guy, bad number with good number. Yeah, they don't get along. So we have to what? We have to subtract. Good. Ignore the signs now. We don't care about the signs anymore. We just look at the numbers. Four versus 10. How do we subtract? Right. Big number comes first. Put the 10 on top. We didn't have to worry about it in the last steps because we're just adding. An order doesn't matter when you add but it does when you subtract. So let's do this. We have 10.23 minus 4.7. How did I know that I have to minus? Because the signs were different. We have bad guy and good guy, right? We're going to put a zero here. So we have three take away zero. Here, let's clean that up. Let's do that. Clean it up. We're going to have three take away zeros, three. Two take away seven can't do it. So we have to do what? We have to borrow. 10 becomes 9. This becomes 12. Take away 7 is 5. This is also 5. Now, look at the numbers again. 4 versus 10. Who's bigger? Ignore the signs. Just 4 versus 10. 10's bigger. Look at the sign. Positive. It moves on. But why does that work? Because look, if we start here at negative 4.7, that means we're starting around here, negative 4.7. If we add a whole bunch of positives, 10 of them, that's going to overwhelm the negatives and the answer is going to become even more positive because there's so many positives being added. They're being dumped in. There's The positives are flooding the gates. So we're going to be getting a positive answer, which is why it's positive in the end. Now for the last one, it's the same numbers, 10.23, 4.7, but the signs have reversed. This is the positive and that's the negative. We still subtract. That doesn't change because the signs are different. So we still stick the 10.23 on top. We still put the 4.7 on the bottom. When we subtract, we'll still get 5.53. But now look at the numbers, 4 versus 10. Who's more powerful? Ignoring the signs. Who's more powerful? 10 is. 10 bigger. So we take the sign in front of it. We put it over here. But Mr. Melham, why does that work? I know that some of you are thinking that. Why is it negative? Why? Why am I just memorizing these rules? No, you got to understand these too. Because look, memorizing for the sake of memorizing is pointless. These are, these are just tricks to help you get through this quickly. But if you use some logic, we have positive 4.7. So we're going to put it around here. We're going to add a whole bunch of negatives, 10 of them, 10.23. We're going to be flooding this with negatives. Here in the last one, we were adding a whole bunch of positives. Now we're adding a whole bunch of negatives. So what's going to happen to that positive four of them? They're all going to be wiped out by the negatives and the answer is going to be overwhelmingly negative. It's going to be 5.53 negative. 
Now we have to estimate and then solve. So what we do to estimate is we change the numbers a little bit. This is going to be positive 4. This is going to be negative 1 estimated. This is going to be added together. What's 4 positives plus a negative? Think back to grade 7. It's positive 3. Correct. So now our answer should be close to this. Let's do it. Hey, there's no symbol in front of this. Yes, there is. It's a positive. If you don't see it, it is a positive. So now we have... Four point, no, we have positive and a negative, so we have to subtract. Good. By the way, at this point here, if you think you understand it, that last page that we did, that's everything you have to know. If you think you can do this on your own, pause the video and just do the questions and check it over. But I'm done with the teaching part. This is all stuff that's going to be reviewed. There might be some trick questions coming up, but see if you could do them on your own. So now we have 4.2339, and we have 1.2. We're going to subtract them, big number first. Remember, we're ignoring those signs. We're not going to write positive 4. We're just going to write 4.39. We're not going to write negative 1.2. We're just going to write 1.2. We will subtract them. So we're going to get 1, 1, through 9, 1, 3 like that. So 3.19. And the answer will be what? Positive or negative? It will be positive because 4 versus 1, 4 wins. It's a positive. Positive wins. Great. Moving on to this. We have 4.39 minus positive. Wait a minute. Minus. Hold on a second. Doesn't this lesson say adding? Yeah. These tricks only work if you're adding. So what's up with this? It says minus. Look, here's a trick you can use. It works every time. I can take this, this minus, and take this plus, switch them. Yeah, you could do that. I promise you, it doesn't affect the answer. But it does put it in the format that we like. Let me show you again. We, it looked like this before. All we do is we flip them. Just go like this. Don't tell anybody I told you this. Just do it. There. Now it looks great. We have a positive. We have a negative. You see, if you would have left it this way, you would have had a positive and a positive, And you'd be like, oh, I just got to add them. The signs are the same. No. Because now it says takeaway, and you can't use these strategies with, with takeaway, with subtraction. So we have to put it in addition format first. So we have it positive with a negative means we subtract. 4.39 has to go first because it's bigger. 1.2 comes next. Don't write negative 1.2, just write 1.2. Subtract them. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to pretend like you know. Pretend like you know what I'm doing. And now look what happens. Who's bigger? 4 versus 1. Four wins. Positive number. Essentially, it's the same question that we did here. I just wanted to show you what happens if it's a minus. 2.3 is a negative. This is negative. Right. What do we do? Yes, we Paul, we add them. Order doesn't matter. It's just addition. 5.2. This makes 5. This makes 7. But what wins? 2 verse 5. Negative, yes, the five wins, well, they're both negative, so it doesn't affect really our answer. They're both negative. Negative 7.5. We have two negatives, and we're adding five more negatives. There's going to be seven negatives. That's our S. It says estimate. That's how I would have estimated that. Two negatives and five negatives make seven negatives. Here, I would have estimated four positives, and one negative is three positives. Great. Now, the last one here, bigger numbers, no problem. It's the same strategy. We have, okay, good. It's a plus here. But what about this number here? What's up with this? What's the symbol here? We know it's adding, but what's, is that positive? Is it a negative? Look what we do. If you don't see a symbol, assume it's a positive. So we're going to put it in brackets. We will say it's a positive. Now the signs look, they're different. So what do we do? We subtract. We're going to put big number on top. We have 245.1. We have 178.2. 0.26. Don't rearrange the order of these numbers. 245 has to go first. And 178 goes on the bottom. This is zero. I'm going to go ahead and subtract this. You just watch what I'm doing. Okay, and at this point here, what is it? Positive or negative? What's bigger? 245 versus 178. 245 wins. Look at the symbol. It's negative. So we stick it in front. Negative 66.84. Here's some more. This is the last page. 
This question here is the ultimate one. See if you can do this one if you get all this other stuff. Question one, 18.6 plus negative 27.8. This is positive. We'll do that. Put it in brackets. Different signs. We have to subtract. Great. We're going to take 27.8 since it's bigger. Remember, we're ignoring the symbols when we're subtracting. We're just writing the numbers out. We're going to go 18.6. Subtract. You get this. And the answer will be negative because 27 beats 18. And so we have negative 9.2. Here we have, oh, look at this. Oh, no, don't get fooled. I'm going to put those on my test, so don't get fooled by them. I'm going to try to trick you. So we have this. Look what we do. Our little secret. Just do this. Switch them. Okay. Now, we like it addition here. Oh, look. Same symbol. Great. Now, look. What do we do here? Same symbol means adding. So we'll put 132 over 23.7. 23.7, add them, you get 7, 7, decimal 5, 5, 1. Positive or negative? Right. Let's see what's, what happens here. We got, oh, we've got different symbols. So it's like this question. They're different symbols. Okay, so nothing really changes here. We're still going to be subtracting. We're going to get essentially the same answer we got here. Okay, so I'm not even going to bother doing that. How about this last one, the, the ultimate one? Do it one step at a time. Do it one step at a time. Do these ones first and get the answer. That's a positive. Let's put a positive. That's positive 23.5. That's added. Okay, great is adding. A negative. Yes, we have to subtract them. Big number first, 26.2. We've got 23.5. We've got subtraction coming up. We got this. I'm pretending like you know how to subtract, so I'm not going to explain it. And the answer will be what? That's a positive. That's a negative. Who wins? 26 or 23? 26 wins. Negative goes down. So these two make negative 2.7. I'm going to write it in. Negative 2.7 plus, so this becomes that, plus negative 7.08. Now look what happens. Oh, yes, we've got the same sign. They're both negative and negative. Let's erase this bottom part here so you don't think it's an equal sign. So we have to add them. So we're going to take 7.08 plus 2.7. I'm going to squeeze the answer here. 8, 7, 9.78. Hope you could see that at the bottom of the screen. And who wins? Well, they're both negative, so it doesn't matter. It's going to be a negative answer. And that's how you do this stuff.